Hello everyone, you're welcome to Jam Vibes. Accused number three in the Senzo Meiwa court case, thrown further under the bus as he is linked with bullets found at the Kumalo's house and this has incriminated more and more people. I'm here to give you all several more information about the whole Senzo Meiwa situation and how accused number three, who is definitely pointed out as one of the killers of Senzo Meiwa allegedly, is being incriminated. Before that, kindly follow Jam Vibes, like this video, and drop a comment after watching the entire video. The Senzo Meiwa murder trial is one of the most followed and closely monitored cases in South Africa as people wish to know who is the one who pulled the trigger on the 26th of October 2014. Because the Bafana Bafana and Orlando Pirates goalkeeper and captain Senzo Meiwa was shot and killed on this date and this has left so many South Africans already heartbroken and all of this took place at his then girlfriend's mother's house Kelly Kumalo and of course this has incriminated her for so many years and left her in a place of distaste and distrust already. After having listened to the doctor who performed post-mortem on Meiwa's body on Tuesday, new developments emerged on Wednesday afternoon when the court was listening to evidence from the ballistic expert Lieutenant Colonel Christian Mangenwa revealed also that the bullets which were found in one of the accused possessions matches the bullets which were found at the crime scene. According to Mangena, the ammunition which was found in Tombis in Kube's room when he was arrested are similar to those which were found at the Kumalo house when Meiwa was shot and his life claimed. This only means empirically that he is directly linked to the claiming of life and it seems he is the one who pulled the trigger on that fateful night. This is a very disturbing one. Reports suggest, and I quote, Ballistic expert Lieutenant Colonel Christian Mankena says the ammunition which was confiscated from accused number three in Tobis in Kobe is the same kind recovered from the Senzo Meiwa crime scene. The case may have taken another turn after the new evidence has been brought to the attention of the court, if Kube was not the one who actually pulled the trigger, he probably supplied one of the accused with a gun and ammunition, which makes him an accomplice as well. Since both the gun and ammunition are so unlawful, he will have to account to how they were in his possession. Of course, we seem to be making progress on this Senzo Meiwa situation already and those who are responsible for Meiwa's death will soon face the music. The same dance that definitely they started, they are going to dance to its tune. It is very much unfortunate all of what is ongoing already. But then again, those who actually claim the life of Senzo Meiwa are going to pay in due time. It was high time that all of this comes to an end already. You will tell me in the comment section how you feel about this. I love you from the bottom of my heart.